Here's a little update on the X-Type and some of the jobs I've done and ticked off the to-do list so far. It's been a fairly slow um, period of work over Christmas and the new year due to mainly um, being ill for most of December uh, with Covid uh, and also the extreme cold. But I have managed to do a couple of jobs. Um, the first was to put a new set of tyres all round to clean these wheels up. Uh, I found a really good deal on eBay um, to get uh, far, uh, four Falcon um, Eco Run 310s for £200 fitted, which was great. So it's got four new tyres on it now, um, and I've cleaned the wheels and we'll get new centre caps. They're not too expensive on eBay, just to finish them off and make them look really nice. The other big job I've done is I fixed the bonnet, which wasn't closing properly. A um, bit of research on various forums indicated that the problem was that it needed a new uh, bonnet release cable, um, so that the latches were not relaxing when they were being closed. Um, and they were not allowing the wallet to slam down and remain shut. Um, I've actually put the new cable in already, but I've kept the old one, and I'll show you what I found when I took it apart, and I'll take you through what I did to take it apart uh, and replace it. Um, so the first thing I did was I had to take the engine cover off, um, battery cover and fuse box cover. Um, I also removed this panel here um, and the air intakes, and that just gives you access um, to the areas that you need. Um, the cable itself um, runs pretty much as it is on top of the panel but obviously runs underneath it. Um, it's retained by these clips on the ends of the outer part of the cable um, and these little bushes fit inside the bottom of this hook here. Um, I'm going to try and show you what it looks like with the new cable in place in the car just so that you'll see what I'm talking about. Where are we? There we go. So you can see the black outer on the left hand side there is in a hook uh, on the latch and to get it out you just basically push it downwards and you can see the little bushing is on the bottom of that latch. If I close that down you can see how that's moved closer to the, the outside. Uh, sorry, further away from the outside. From there the cable runs underneath the slam panel it's held centrally, there's a small clip that tallies with that wipe spot, so that is in the middle there. This clip is pretty much just the same, only it's got two outers that go either side of the clip and the one little bushing that goes in the centre, on the other end of that little clip there. It snakes round behind a panel under the fuse box, uh, sorry, under the, uh, behind the tail, uh, <laughs> behind the headlight, sorry. Um, and then there's this little zinc plated mild steel clip there you can see the new cables behind it you just have to pry that forward slightly with a screwdriver um, to get it out and then chase it around from out from behind this wiring uh, and pipe and it disappears into the car through a hole in the bulkhead which I can show you there you can see the grommet from the new cable which I've not yet fitted and a hole in the bulkhead and it disappears into the cabin so the bonnet release handle is there and you can often tell uh, if you need a new cable because first of all your bonnet doesn't close properly it just closes on the latch uh, and also this this handle comes out at an angle so if it doesn't seat properly uh, you know that your your cable's not free moving um, and that you're not going to be able to close your bonnet that sound was just me reopening the latches that i closed just now um, to get the cable out uh, it's simply a case of undoing this piece of trim um, it just lifts upwards out of the car um, Removing the door seal and you can see on the surround for the handle itself Shine a torch in there. It's a bit dark in there. You can see two clips that go through into the car bodywork So you just pull that towards the rear of the car and it comes free um, and then on the other side of this uh, Piece of trim the, the handle is held on with two eight mil um, bolts and you just take them out and then the, the cable comes out um, to make it easy to get the new cable installed, I found a video uh, here on YouTube that suggested that the easy way to do it was to pull it through from the cabin, so from here, pull it through into the engine bay. Uh, I tried that, so I joined my new cable to the end of the old cable and pulled it through. But what I found was, going that way, this end is slightly bent, it's slightly canted, and I couldn't pull it through from the car into the engine bay so I couldn't pull the old cable through um, and without without that coming through so it was, it was actually sorry it was actually coming through this way wasn't it so it, it was getting stuck on there 
and I couldn't pull the old one through and therefore I couldn't pull the new one in behind it. Um, in the end I pulled it all the way the other way so I attached the new cable to to this end so it's the end that is going to go in the interior of the car so the opposite end to this I simply cable tied and taped it in place and then pulled it all the way pulled this cable all the way through and then pulled the new cable into the engine bay um, the only thing you have to do is remove the grommet that's on on this end of the old cable um, you can see the old grommet here which I had to cut and take off because it was just a pain to pull that through the bulkhead uh, into the car and you can see that I had to leave I've had to leave the new grommet um, and I'll, I'll get some uh, rubber grease on that and, and pull that through into that hole uh, now I'm happy that everything works as it should so that's the last job left to do not too fiddly just a bit sharp in places um, where the various clips are these these clips are the very worst you can get those on the back of your hand they soon soon make you bleed which isn't great um, <laughs> a couple of little evidence uh, it's a little blood spot there from uh, from doing it <laughs> so I'll clean that off so that is an update on the X-Type. Um, jobs still to do. The main ones are sorting the brakes out. So I will do the rear brakes. So I've got the bits for that and buy the new bits for the front brakes. And then it's a case of a full service. I need to find out when... Actually, I'm not sure whether it's got a cam belt or a, a chain. So I'll check that out. And if it needs a new belt, I'll do the belt as well. Because um, that makes it a lot more attractive to any prospective owner. Um, so I'll put the covers back on. Um, and then at least that's that job done. And as you can see, let me just close the bonnet. It now closes down flush with the front of the car. So that's that job ticked off. Bye for now.